Hi and welcome back to my next tutorial on the Web 2.0 tool Storybird. If you go to storybird.com it'll bring you to the screen right here. Um, once again this is a free web tool that you can use in your classroom. Amazing um, resource for any age um, and for really any content area. And um, basically what you can do is you can search through books that are already made um, that people have made or you can sign up or sign in to create your own book. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now that I've logged in, this is the screen um, that I see. Uh, basically it shows me any things that I've created which I haven't created any yet that I've saved. Um, anybody that I'm following and then my bookshelf. So if I want to create a story, I can go right here to create. And this is where you have the option to search for certain like keywords, what you want your story based upon, lots of different artwork to choose from. So let's find one here that works. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. And once you choose your artwork, you can push use this art right here, which will be the theme of your story. You can choose are you creating a multi chapter book, are you creating a picture book, or just a poem with one image. And I'm going to make a picture book, so I'm going to click picture book. And then, as you'll notice right here, all of the images, the artworks, um, show up on the left and right side that you can pick from. And if you look down here, this shows the pages that you have. So here's a cover page, which is blank. And you can choose which style of cover you'd like. They have classic, landscape, journal, and iconic. I'm going to go with journal. And then you can see all the patterns uh, that I, options I have to choose from. You can scroll left and right. I've chosen the birds for my cover, and I'm going to give it a title. And notice it already has my username down here, but if you want to change that, you can. Okay, now I have my title page, and if you look down here, this is where you can see what pages you've worked on. And now um, I'm on to the next page. And then you have the option to add your text. And if you want to add another page, you just click right over here on the plus sign where it says add page. Notice it's a blank page. And from here you can decide um, what you would like on the page. Notice the text is showing up at the bottom. But you have the option to choose where your picture goes if you'd like a picture on that page. So if I click and drag, the dark part shows where the picture will be. So I can have it just on the top. You know, the left or the right. So let's put it on the top so we can put the text on the bottom. So it'll just take up the top part there and then you can add your text on the bottom. Um, once again, if you don't like a page, you can go over here to the remove page. And it will say, would you like to remove page two? And that's the one I want to get rid of, so I'll push OK. Um, once I've finished my story, I'm going to go ahead and you can push save and then you can even go to either publish you can also invite somebody to collaborate with a story on you which is great for if students are working together they can always collaborate on a story and create a story as a group or in partners you can publish a story or save and close I'm just gonna save and close and you'll see right here that it's underneath my stuff right here where it says your stuff and it shows that it's unpublished so that's um, my story right there. And then if you would like to publish it, let's go back. I can go back here, edit the story, publish it, um, invite a collaborator, or just delete it all together. And that's how you use Storybird. Very easy. It's a great way for students to not only be all, um, writers, but to have an authentic audience by sharing their story not only with their teacher, and their classmates but with the world as well and thankfully on this um, if you have a teacher account which is an option when you sign up it's free um, you have the option to see um, 
what your students are doing and also protects their privacy. So as you can see, Storyboard is a great web tool to use in the classroom really with any grade level and any content area. This isn't just for kids. You could use this in a middle school or high school classroom as well. And like I mentioned before, what I love about this is Storyboard gives them not only the ability to share their story with their teacher and their classmates, but with the world as well, which I think is really amazing because it gives them an authentic audience. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for listening.